Well, back here we kind of go into the to the red breed here just a little bit. Uh, uh, these hogs would be hibachi. Uh, I could go for some hibachi right now. That sounds really, really good. Uh, you just totally lost my train of thought. Mastermind, yeah. I, I knew where I was at. So these would be hibachi mastermind. Go back to some rigs breeding here uh, uh, from Kyle up there. Uh, really, really high on this uh, particular litter light here. I think uh, uh, red bears that uh, uh, look like what red bears need to look like in terms of uh, head and neck and, and just being a little greener in terms of their body shape and, and, and overall density. Uh, but yet at the same time, I think that you study these pigs in terms of their feet and legs right there. I think uh, ultra, ultra square, I think have a very, very bright future. And you can tell that uh, as we bring these hogs up here, they're just highly, uh, highly wet broke. And then, you know, uh, been, been, been exposed to a lot of people and, and so on. But Clay's kind of getting the getting it on the stick here. Yeah. I think a very, very high quality red barrel. Yeah, I think this bear, once he relaxes and gets his head up, things balance up and tie together very nicely. I mean, uh, I, I will not. Uh, profess to be the world's leading foremost expert on on red hogs but I, I do know that they need to be skinnier built and really good built as babies and not have too much in terms of their muscle or base base width and these guys these guys they check the boxes you know are, are they the ones that are the bloomiest you know the most sale ready today you know probably not and that's okay on red ones I think they need to be built this way like AJ said feet and legs quality uh, from a genetic perspective you, you know they're gonna have it in the end but I think a nice pair and I do think uh, too uh, you know probably what's unique about them is they are very very heavy structured and and certainly not to beat a dead horse here but uh, still good in terms of their pastern set as you can see that barrel right there uh, he's still up on his toes on both ends of his skeleton uh, still heavy in terms of his structure I think that's a very very special red bar in my opinion yeah and then we've got 9-4 here and I'll let you roll ahead, go ahead and talk him uh, he too, just uh, very similar to his brother, you know, maybe even just a notch greener yet in his overall muscle there uh, there as well. Uh, same body, same build, uh, you there know, you uh, immaturity. I think that's an awfully, awfully nice one there. You know, gives you that show pig look from the blade forward, and yet at the same time still has a dense skeleton to him, uh, green and immature in his overall look right there. I think that one has a bright future there as well. Yeah, I think tremendous feedability in both of these barrels because you're not going to get in the ditch in terms of their structure. I think you're going to be able to gas on them pretty hard, and I, I don't think you need to be afraid uh, to take these dudes to you know middle of July or end of July type uh, type show that you, if you've got a target uh, to be really highly competitive in the red ones because they check some boxes that most don't so really yeah. really nice pair of red bears yeah and I think uh, genetically there as well I mean I think that combines uh, two very very powerhouse type of uh, uh, you know genetic lines that uh, we kind of played with there just a little bit uh, uh, with the juice burns board there and, and, and he had a brother that was highly successful there as well to hibachi uh, turned back right back around and that uh, that particular sow made the champion there at the winter type conference as well bred to uh, to dunked on so awfully awfully good pair of bears here extremely excited i think uh, uh, great feeding window here on these bears here as well because i think they can they can check a lot of boxes and then fit a lot of programs throughout the summer yeah so lots 33 and or excuse me 35 and, and 36 9-2 and 9-4 hibachi mastermind